And you know what it'd be like when you had two cans of strawberry fizz with your lunch? You'll just have to wait till we get there, that's all. I can't wait! Well, why the dickens didn't you go when we were in that motorway cafe? I didn't want to go then. I want to go now! Go on then, behind that hedge. And don't tread on any crops. What crops? Any crops, anything that's growing. Go on, be quick about it. No looking. I wouldn't dream of it. Pass me that map, please. Are we lost again, Dad? Oh, I wouldn't say we were lost, Sue. We just seem to be going around in circles. Oh, waving, was he? You better wave back then. Oh. <laughs> the wind blowing his steam. We won't get there this side of midnight. There you are, Ratter. Stay where you are, there's a good girl. See what the ravages of winter have done to you, shall we? Mm. Oh. oh, a robin's nest. And what could be more comfy? Never fear, we shan't disturb her. No. <clears throat> Let's look at this stomach of yours. Where are we now? No idea. That's the way we just come, isn't it? What do you reckon? Oh, we've got to lose, Dad. Another two gallons of petrol. Come on, up in. No. You've got a completely new arm. And come harvest time, I don't want to hear any nonsense about it being nibbled by field mice. This can't be right. It leads nowhere, this lane. There's that scarecrow again. Oh, well, that proves it. We're going to finish up where we started from, at the back end of beyond. We are going a different way. He was on the right-hand side before, and now he's on the left. You sure it's that scarecrow? Looks like two of them to me. It is. It's a scarecrow and a funny-looking man. He's talking to it. Get away. He is. They've just raised their hats to each other. Oh, yes. You'll be telling me next they're playing leapfrog. Hey, that fella's just leaving. I'll ask him. Uh, sorry to trouble you. You don't know where Scatterbrook Farm is by any chance. Scatterbrook? Oh, you must be the people who've taken the caravan. That's right. It's straight down the lane. It doesn't lead anywhere else. Oh, and give my regards to the Braithwaites. I haven't seen them for some time. Thank you. Excuse me. If you haven't seen the Braithwaites, how do you know we're going to live in their caravan? Oh, a little bird told me. You hear a lot in the country, you know. Oh, excuse me, but that is a scarecrow over there, isn't it? Well, I hope so, young miss. Otherwise, I've been wasting my time. My brother says you were talking to it. That's right. Well, of course. I talk to all my scarecrows. I make them. I'm known as the crow man in these parts. But they can't talk back, can they? No, <laughs> what a silly question. How can a scarecrow talk? But didn't he raise his hat? Raised his hat? <laughs> what wonderful imaginations these children do have, don't they, sir? <laughs> mm. Funny fella. Excuse me, Dad. Oh, not again.
That was quick. I think I'll wait. It isn't Buckingham Palace, but it makes a change, doesn't it? If you want a bath any time, the door is always open. <laughs> you think you like living in a caravan? Yeah, lovely. Smashing. It'll do very nicely. Two of our time to look round, of course. So you reckon it'll settle down here, then, eh? Well, I thought we'd give it a try, Mr. Breakaway. Fine, fine work, that is. And what kind of work's that, then? Well, electrical by trade. Ah, not much call for that here. We're all electricians nowadays, have to be. Yeah, stand a bit of chance in town, I'd say. Mm. Oh, well, frankly, I'm not to change the scene, you see. But they don't have their mother now. I thought we'd best get right away. Too many busybodies interfering. They think a father can't bring up his own children. Poor little lambs. Still, you brought them to the right place. They'll soon get roses in their cheeks. <laughs> Careful, kids. Looks dangerous. Could be savage. <laughs> Bless you, it says me. She's only a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, found her up in the woods one winter. Only a couple of weeks old. Never thought she'd survive. Now she's one of the family. Oh, well, I've got some welding to do. And um, Harry, show John and Sue round the farm, will you? Well, come on in. And don't go treading on any wheat. It isn't the time of year for wheat, Mr. Peters. <laughs> them's pigs. Them's goats. And them feathery things over there with beaks, they're chickens. We know that. Aren't they the same ones you showed us five minutes ago? Oh, I come a full circle, we have. Can we feed them? Well, they feed themselves, don't they? You can stand and look if you like, but uh, I've got my work to do. Nothing like that farmyard pong, eh? It's like a tonic. <laughs> what can we do till tea time? Do, do. Um, I'll tell you what, why don't you go and see how many cows you can see? Twenty-three. Ah, oh, well. Uh, well, go and count them again. I'm just popping down to the village. Can we come with you, Dad? Uh, no, no. I've, I've got some private business to do. And don't tread on any wheat. Tread on any wheat. Come on. Where? To count cows? You can't stand here all day. Let's do some exploring. Explore what? We've explored everything already. So you can go and look at that staircase again. Whoopee! I've got a blister on my foot and it's coming on to rain. I want to go back. We're nearly there now. Look! So? He did weave, you know. And he raised his hat, that funny old man. I'm positive. It's impossible. Look, he's made out of straw. And anyway, it's not a he, it's an it. And another thing. When we came past this way today, he turned round at me. So? Who turned him straight? Probably one of the farm hands. There you are. I told you it's going to rain. Oh, come on, John. It's pouring down. Hold on a minute. Just wait till I can to do a hundred. You can count a million if you like. He still won't move. No, all right. But do you think he'd mind if we borrowed his umbrella? How do I know? Why didn't you ask him? Excuse me, mister, but maybe borrow your umbrella. Go crack his only sees these wet clothes. Well, it's your fault, drudging into the middle of a wet, muddy field in the pouring rain, then trying to speak to a scarecrow. He did say something. I know he did. Of course he did, and he couldn't have. And you said he waved, and he didn't. He did. And he put his hat back on. Next you'll be telling me he's going to come back to fetch his umbrella.
If you wouldn't mind just sitting in the kitchen, Sue. Oh, now I've got his dinner on, and I don't trust that stove. It's temperamental. I don't mind. One thing Mr. Braithwaite won't have is a burned dinner, so watch the telly by all means, but keep your other eye on that stove. Why don't you both go over and keep each other company? What's on? Ballet. Oh, good. Yuck. Come on, Sue. Oh, Mrs. Braithwaite, if you're going down to the village, uh, I'll walk down with you. I want to post these cards. Oh, we'll post them for you if you like. Oh, no, no. I could do with this job. Besides, there's a spot of business I can attend to. Oh, come on. Dinner, Jack. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want you to be a good girl, understand? Yeah. Bring back some crisps and lemonade. If I should happen to see anywhere that sells them. talking to you and I thank you for my umbrella come on hand it over well I believe you want to hand it up I'll have to come down <laughs> 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 Good evening, sir. That's what you should say. Me being older than you. Sorry. Good evening, sir. It's well, either that, or as it may be, a good evening, Mr. Gummidge. That being my name. My my name's John, sir. Oh, John, is it? I've known a few Johns hereabouts. Vagabonds, mostly. Thieves. What steals other people's umbrellas? They're going to bring it back. Sir. Says. Well, don't I get invited for a nice sit down, a cup of tea, and a slice of cake? I don't think we have any cake. But you can sit down if you want for a minute. Well, I might sit down for a minute. Might sit down for half a minute. But then again, I might sit down for half an hour. We shall have to see. Huh. All right. Very nice at last. As would suit a couple. <laughs> well, sit down. Well, I'll do. Uh, how do you do? No, 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 not how do you do. We've done all that. I said, how do? How do you sit down? Do you know how to? Well, it just so happens that it slipped my mind. How to sit down, that is, seeing as I'm not asked to do it all that often. Then you are a real scarecrow. Well, because I'm a scarecrow, what does that look like, the King of Russia? I thought you were real. Well, scarecrows is real, when they want to be. Now then, about this here sitting down. It's easy. Look. Robin Redbreast. I use it there as a handkerchief. <laughs> she don't mind. Lives in my stomach, she does. <laughs> That's a good girl. Have you always walked about, Mr. Gummidge? Oh, I. Well, this way's up ever since I got born. Oh, long time ago that were. I remember that I had, had a tickling in sensation in my head, and, and then this here mango wurzel that began to sprout, and that's how I got born. <laughs> Will you give over that licking it around in my stomach, dang thing? I never knew scarecrows got born before. I thought they were made. That's what I'm saying. The crow man, he makes us. First we gets made, and then we gets born. Funny way of getting born. We don't grow out of our clothes, see? Not like you lot. You gets born first, and then you grows up. And we keep on having different clothes, except when they wears out. Now, now that's a nice jacket. 
That's my dad's. He'll be back soon. Mm, you know, I could do with some new clothes, I could. <laughs> Seeing as how it's my stomach's birthday today. How can a stomach have a birthday? Because it's just been remade, so it's my stomach's birthday. T'other one got eaten up by mice. Many happy returns. So what about my present, then? I haven't got a present. And anyway, it's rude to ask for a present. All right, then. You please yourself. I shall have a sulk. Don't tell people you're sulking. You just do it. I am doing it. You just watch. Mr Gummidge? Mr Gummidge? Oh, all right. Sulk if you want. See if I care. Good night, all. See you tomorrow, I expect. Good night. How long have I been sulking? Oi. Oi, you. I'm asking you a civil question. Oh, you're sulking yourself, are you? All right, then, sulk on. I'll help myself to my birthday present. Ah. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> you must have been dreaming. I wasn't dreaming. You were snoring when I came in. Horrible. I don't snore. Do you stop you arguing, the pair of you. And listen, what about all that mess over at the caravan? There's straw, bits of mud, feathers. Where's it all come from? And what have you done with my jacket? What? What jacket? My sports jacket. I hung it up last night. Mr Peters, has anyone come through the gate this morning? A tramp or a tinker or anyone who looks suspicious? Well, we've seen nobody, Mrs Braithwaite. What's up? It's my washing. I only put it out half an hour ago and it's gone. Sheets, shirts, towels, vests, everything. Yes, and he's probably had my jacket as well. A tramp. That's who it'll be. Come on, Sue. Let's go for a walk. Uh, cat cows. Be careful, children. Honestly, I don't know what you think we're going to find. I keep telling you. Where's the gummage? Look! What does that prove? That it wasn't a tramp. He certainly wouldn't have thrown away a clean towel, would he? Perhaps he doesn't like washing. Oh. All right, Clever Dick, what about this? Yeah. How did this get here? Andre, no use to nobody know it. More trouble than it's worth. Well, hide it in there. Fetch it on the way back. Turn left, and after you've turned left, keep walking right out of the village. We don't want your sort round here. Let's keep the Eastman. Treat yourself off or I'll have you for vagrancy.
object. It's not a he, it's an it. Yeah. Thank you very much, Your Honor. <laughs> so, look! So, look! It's Wurzel! He's put himself together again. Aren't you glad? I don't know. I have a feeling he's going to cause us an awful lot of trouble. Oh, come on, grumpy gut. Kids again. I have an idea they're going to cause me a great deal of trouble. Oh, I. A great deal of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> 